Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some max death PvP. Yup, you heard that right. Death PvP I have not done in such a long time, but we're back. Um, honestly, the reason why I took a break is because death felt kind of weird for me. It was just not really enjoyable. It was either you did Trap Stack Shadow, which was really boring, or you kind of just spam debuffs with Ward. But I'm giving it another try, and honestly, I think it's got a lot of potential. So in today's video, I got a pretty wild match for you guys, and let me show you the setup that I was rocking. So I wanted to try a bit of an aggro build. As you can see, my resist is a little bit bit lower than what typical deaths run and that's because i'm using the dragoon hat but other than that the stats are pretty solid solid damage really good health good accuracy very nice crit and block really solid pierce for a death solid pips as well and then amazing shadow rating with decent pip conserve and for the gear it's essentially what normal deaths run it's just instead of using mali or crocat for resist i swapped out to dragoon which is going to give me more health uh it also gives me perfect accuracy because without a 14 percent uh even if you have a 14 percent accuracy jewel you have a one percent chance of fizzling with the motor skier if you don't have sniper on your pets um and if you're not hitting with inbound you go for a shad and you fizzle that can really cost you the game so it also like i said gives you a bit more crit damage shads all that good stuff so it's just a cool hat to use and then the rest is pretty standard motorist dragoon the other nice thing about the dragoon death hat is that since you get the three piece bonus from the hat boots and the athame you can actually use the uber amulet which is better than the dragoon amulet because you get more resist you get more health and you get that extra flat resist which is really nice against ot schools like fire and ice um, of course, the Aphrodite ring using Lorenzo, my boy, and then Clockwork Courser and the Duelist deck. Since I was playing really aggro, I didn't really care too much about holding bubble control, but obviously, normally you'd want to run probably Omen or the Duelist deck, or sorry, I mean the Dark Moor deck. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want more death PvP content in the future. I definitely can get more, maybe do some tournaments or just some more fun strats and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I actually still enjoy doing death peep, even though it is a bit difficult and I do need to get used to it. And the setup is a little weird. You should play with resist setup because it is better but the setup is a lot of fun and you can actually make it work so yeah uh and this match is pretty wild bro the ending is very unexpected watch until the end i'm telling you you will be surprised and it was just a really fun match so yeah hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one as always peace out guys we're going against a a myth wizard okay so i can't really blade but you know at least it's like a fair match bro but yeah i'm gonna have to aegis saw uh, my dark packs and i can't really go for other blades so it's gonna be a little bit tricky i'm not sure exactly how i want to play this one out Definitely want to stun block as well, so we can't do anything fancy. Let's go ahead and discard that. I'll see double that. Yeah, let's just do that stun block. Okay, he's also glass like me, because he's got 9.4k HP. You can't get that high uh, with resist setup, like resist that. So he's probably got Dragoon Hat. So we're just going to block right away, um, and that's what we can do here. I guess I'll enchant that. I don't really want to hold on to it, but okay, that's fine. Can we draw something? Maybe? Is he going to weakness me? No, nah, he's going to Mythic Fuel. I would have been so happy if he did that, if he weakness me right now. I would have been so stoked, dude. But yeah, I'm gonna need to dark pack and infall basically. Let's see if I can draw something good. Weakness is low key nice against mid, so I'm gonna weakness right now. I don't want to dark pack yet in case he does weakness me, or just in case, you know. I mean, I want to wait a little bit longer before I do it. Smack that weakness on there. Got another enchant for that. Okay. Lulu could be really nice though. We can. That's a good thing. We can play around the fact that he can't really deal with that, so that's pretty juicy. Let's go ahead and enchant that. Draw one time. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and dark pack now. I don't think I'm gonna need snack attack this game, right? So we can discard a surge. And then, would I even want another weakness, or do I want to pull from main? I mean, I could draw for a weakness. Maybe we didn't pull. I'm just going to go ahead and dark pack now, right? Yeah, let's go for our Aegis. So, it sucks that it's only 25% because of the Aegis. Like, that's a really low, like, blade. Like, 25% is not much at all. But it is better than nothing. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go for it. It's it's worth the turn. You know what I'm saying? I could have just, actually, I could have just gone for, like, one blade or, like, two blades. He's not going to Earthquake two blades. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have. Actually, okay, maybe we could double blade. Is he going to infall? All right. He's trying to go in, basically. He really wants to go in. I'm going to discard that, that uh, Winged, and I'm actually going to go ahead and Blade right now, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and Blade. He still doesn't have a Shad. My Shad rating is better than him, so I'll get one Blade up now. We can actually go for both our, our 35 Blades. Because he's not going to just Earthquake off two Blades, especially when he's got the Mythic Fuel. So we'll do that. We pulled the Sharpen, but I don't need it. Um, is he just going to hit me? What is this, dude? Ninja Pigs. Interesting. I mean, he is double buffed with Blades, and he's got Info and Crit, but like he does have a Weakness. So I'm not sure that was like a great move. It wasn't a bad move, but I'm not sure that was like an amazing move. Let's see how much it does. Maybe it has, is actually an amazing move. 3k. That did a lot. I mean, that's like a shad, bro. It's like a shad without buffs. Uh, do I want to enchant this poison? Loki? Yeah, I want a bigger hit poison. He can shift over though, so I need to be careful. That's another issue too. I have to, I have to deal with that as well. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to double blade though. Yeah, let's just do this. But he will shift. Like I'll blade here and then go for the poison and he'll literally just shift it over. So I can't even like bone dragon, which... Kind of sucks, but uh, at this point, maybe Infall would be kind of juicy. Let's see if I could draw that. Infall would be so good. 
He bazzied me? Okay, now I pull. Oh, he could still shift, actually. But then he couldn't really combo. Why would you just... I mean, I guess he's just trying to take damage. And this is kind of... An, I, I like how he's playing, dude. This is a really cool way of playing. Infow and a 35 buff. I guess take the damage, right? And then he can literally just shift over my poison. And I can't really do anything. He's being smart to not put me in range. So maybe I need to play around that. Should I, like, bubble here and then try to buy time for a shad? If I go for a cheeky bubble here, he may not expect it. But not sure if that's a great idea. I kind of wanted to draw an infow. I don't think bubbling here is a good move at all. So... We didn't pull what we wanted. I'll just tower. That's fine. We'll just do this. But yeah, that's the problem. He'll shield as soon as I get a shadow and he can shift. So actually, Myth is a really bad matchup, dude. Holy, bro. What can we do? Because he'll shield this turn. Yes, that shield as well. So I'll poison. He'll literally just shift it over. And then what am I supposed to do? Even if I get an open shad. Like, even if I poison and then winged and then like... Like, he's he's literally... I'll, I'll poison now, but he just shifts it over, dude. Like, I'm not doing any da real damage to him. So maybe I have to play around Scion since he's a Myth, dude. I think that might actually be my only play. I'm going to infall here. I'm going to keep my pips and go for the infall. Big brain, go for a juju. Juju here would be amazing. I forgot to pack it, though, because I'm not doing a dragon anymore. But I actually would have packed it if I had remembered. Let's see what he does, though. We don't need... Is that the... No, that's a side deck poison. Okay. Uh, let's see what we could do here. Weakness could be nice, maybe. Because he's just going to shield again, right? Or, like, stun block now. What is this? He's tower shielding. Okay, he's, like, double shielding himself, which is kind of an interesting move. I think I might just have to go for the poison, he shifts it, and then I go for a weakness to play around Scion. I think that's my best play at this point. So I'm gonna go for the poison now that we have the infall up. Uh, just full send it, you know what I mean? We'll get some good damage if he- no crit. Wow, I like to use like crit here and then not really do much. Myth is death's best matchup? What? No, Myth is not death's ma best matchup at all, dude. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff though. 592, yeah, he shifted it over. And that's doing like no damage, bro. And that's a main deck too. Why is that doing so little, bro? Okay, whatever. I might even just let him take a Yaga. Because a no buffed Yaga, I mean, he's got the one Mythic Fuel. Does the Is the Mythic Fuel enough? Like just a 35 Yaga, is that gonna kill me? It might, bro. But I might have to take that risk at this point. I think I do. I'm gonna bubble here and then see what he does. But that's really bad, dude. That's, that, that's like actually really bad. Like if he just tends, takes a Yaga here and then I die to the OT could be in trouble he is using glass too so we'll see i'm gonna bubble right now but i mean his best place is to shield wait it out you know what i mean i could let both of it hit me i need to draw a weakness here that's for sure he's gonna change the bubble back right or is he set shielding yeah he's literally just set shielding so that i have to poison him again yeah i'm not gonna win this dude i probably could have played this better but i think i just have to not do p bro i'm in such like a bad mindset and i don't even have shrike anymore which i took out of my deck this is where shrike would be huge so yeah i would have needed the shrike because now what am i supposed to do i can't do anything i'd literally have to poison him again like there, there, I, I just can't win yet. Okay, maybe I'm just playing bad today, dude. I don't know. Unfortunate. Death is not destroyed, Myth. Myth has so much to deal with death, you know what I mean? Death can't bleed because you have Earthquake. Now, if you're talking about Shatter, that's a little bit different. But even then, you know what I mean? You cannot go for OTs, really. They'll literally just shift you over. Like, they have King Artois that can still Yaga you. Even if, though, you have Lulu, they can do it as a finisher. Like, there's so much they can still do. So, yeah, I don't think there's any way I win this. And he'll just take the Yaga now, right? Because he thinks it'll do enough damage. And even if I had a Lulu, like, it literally wouldn't even matter. And I think I'm... He shifted it again, dude. Holy balls. Well, now I for sure died away Yaga, right? I mean, I could try weaknessing him. But then he'll literally just shield again, right? Yeah, I'll weakness. But he'll literally just shield again, dude. So we're gonna slap the weakness. Slap it on there and then see what he does here. We lost our info though. So even if I were to get an open sign, which I am in range for now. Dude, I'm just playing awful today. I literally had an info bubble Scion. I should have taken it. Why didn't I take the Scion? Okay, no, I actually think I'm just playing horrible, dude. I literally... Oh, I didn't have the pips. That's right. Is he empowering me? What the... I mean, I have to go for the Scion, right? Because otherwise I'm dead. And I can't just keep shielding. Well, actually, I could shield this turn. I could shield this turn. But I'm never gonna get a better look than this, right? So I'll take the Scion now with the bubble. But even though I'm gonna send this and crit, I don't think it does enough damage. And then he could literally just Yaga me, so... I mean, maybe somehow I win this, dude, but we'll see. This dude with no free chat is cheering Blake on? Wait, there's no way. Let's go, death school. Let's go. <laughs> Can I crit, please? Can we actually get a crit? Thank you. Okay. At least that's good. We did crit a wide open double damage Scion with uh, Bubble. So that should hurt, bro. And he's glass. Yeah, 5k. I mean, that really didn't do much at all, bro. That literally did not do as much as I was hoping for. That's with the crit and a bubble and, like, good stuff, dude. Didn't pip conserve, unfortunately. We did draw the Lulu, but... I mean, he is down to 2.7. What is this? Is he bubbling now or infouling, or what is this? He is infouling. Okay, if I tower shield, he'll just King Art, though. How many pips is he at? He's at 13. If he Kings Art, he won't be able to combo so easily. And I can't even do enough damage to him, bro. Even if I were able to take off a wing. Like, he's just gonna go for the overtime. I have to shield, though, because he's got infoul. So if I do this, then I have to shield this turn. 
But then he'll just king art me, and then he's got the OT. Maybe he doesn't have a snake charmer? I don't know, that's my only hope, I guess. What is he doing here? Is he- what the heck is he doing, bro? Like, actually. He's bubble chaining? That's such a weird move. He could mystic? Yeah, I'm gonna infall this turn. Or blade. Actually, which one would be better for me? To get more pierce or to get a blade? I think it'd be better to, uh... I think it's better to infall here, Loki. If I infall winked, he's dead for sure. So I'm gonna go for the infall now. And then that way, if he tries to shield, I can always poison him. And then if he tries to shift it over or whatever, we can just wait it out. But I'm at infall here. Okay, we also put a bubble. That's kind of nice. Like, let's say he shields here. I can change the bubble. Waste out his infall a bit, maybe. Or I could poison, then change the bubble. That'd be good, too. Is he just gonna straight up hit me? What is this? Let's see. Tatsel? Bro, what is this man doing? Why is he with the tatsel, man? Okay, that's kind of a weird move. I mean, maybe he's trying to make things interesting. Otherwise, I have no idea why he's trying to do this. Because, I mean, I'm not dead to a Shad, right? No, he's got and the bubble. I mean, I can change the bubble, right? Hold up. No, if I if I try to change the bubble, I think it just passes me, right? I honestly think it just passes me, right? I I'm like 90% sure. If I Lulu, I could Lulu myself. If I winged, I could wing myself. If I bubble, it will literally pass me. So I think I need to go for the winged here. Because otherwise, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. If I could have bubble changed, then I'd be fine. But I need to hit him. Oh, we actually landed. Okay. Um, Do we need the crit? I mean, I do pierce through everything. And I have really good damage. But if it does low end, I might need the crit. Yo, is this enough, bro? Does this like barely kill? 3.1, baby. We actually got the dub. I don't know how, bro. I actually do not know how. Okay, well, a genius, bro. I mean, I guess that Tatsu was... He probably could have killed me earlier, honestly. I think, like, he had such the upper hand. I think he just did the Tatsu to troll. Because otherwise, like, why would he Tatsu like that, you know? There's no way he was... Uh, I I'm gonna ask him. Did you did you Tatsu? Tatsu, uh... How do you even spell Tatsu? Oh, it's Tatsu Worm, like that. Or whatever. Did you Tatsu to troll? GD's well played. Yeah, you, you played... You played that first half perfectly. Oh, he actually- Oh, so I won legit. I actually won legit, bro. We actually got the dub, bro. And it was legit against a myth. Oh, I'm happy. That's it, dude. I'm done.